Okay, hey guys, uh, today I'm going to talk about the Call of Duty World War II Enigma machine. I don't know if any of you guys have solved this. Um, I didn't solve it by myself, I just looked up how to solve it, so I'm not taking credit for those codes. But I will walk you through it and uh, give you some of my insight and thoughts on what it is about. So, uh, first off down here, you can see these numbers, and it's actually a coordinate. Um, so if you type in those coordinates, it takes you to Dunkirk, which is uh, a place in France, north of North France, and uh, a lot of big battles in World War II happened there. Uh, so that's kind of cool. If you take, if you go to Street View, drop yourself in there, you can recognize this building, um, and it's it's kind of cool. This is modern day Dunkirk, of course. But I did a little bit of uh, digging in just to see if I could find some images of it when it was uh, under attack. And uh, let's go up this way a little bit. So I think I found the image. This is the building, and or the big tower. And there's a church over here. Uh, I found this picture where you can see the tall tower and the, the church roof right here and it is kind of it's uh intense to see this picture of like what it looked like and what it looks like now but you can see here's the clock tower or the clock face and those tall windows and those little spires and i'm pretty sure this is the same building the clock tower those tall windows and the spires it looks like this piece up here might have been broken um, because it's not there in modern day anymore um, but I don't know for sure if that's the tower or not, uh, but I think it is. It's kind of cool to see. But it turns out that this is just a like a red a false flag. This actually has nothing to do with the codes, um, but it's kind of cool to see. So I thought I'd show you guys. Um, but the codes actually have the in one of the pictures that they posted, Call of Duty. There's the zombie guy here, and it's incredibly hard to see, but if you take this image and you invert the colors and you do some some fancy stuff on Photoshop or whatnot, it will show this code right here. So this is the first string of codes. There's three sets, and uh, I will input that into the Enigma machine, and we'll see what happens. I just realized this guy right here, he's carrying a baguette. If that's not the most French thing you've ever seen, I don't know what is. <laughs> that's freaking hilarious. So let me go back to it. So the first code is I U F D J. And then you'll see the light turn green. And it will pull up this a new H, and it will spell out an interesting word. But once we type in all three of them, so the t second code is B H L O P. So again, now the next light's green, and it will say a new horror. And the last code for the first set of three is J M U B A. And it says a rise rises. A new horror rises. So it's kinda cool. Now it will take you into here and uh, let's take a look. It shows this folder. And this guy apparently is uh, Frederick Barbarossa. He was a German knight uh, way back in medieval times. Uh, and the legend from what I've read is that he's never died. He, he went into a crypt in a mountain. And the legend says that when the crows stop flying around the mountain, that he will rise again or rise out of the, of the mountain. So uh, you can bet we're going to get some zombie uh, Nazis obviously from that poster um, but it will be interesting to see I wonder if they're gonna make a Hitler zombie that'd be kinda cool 
but yeah this is the first set and uh, you click on it it will close it up uh, nothing too crazy these arrows don't do anything so um, we can go back to the Enigma machine because there's actually more to do and again I am not taking credit for conquering these codes um, I did not do it uh, so don't comment that I'm stealing it I'm just I looked it up you guys could look it up and I'm just making a video and informing you guys but anyway the next set of codes there's five codes and the way that they solved them is they people on reddit just did data crunching and uh, I guess apparently throughout the games you could see codes on billboards or something like that if I understand correctly but anyway the first of the second set of codes is G N U L V and as you can see the light will it lights up green and it says Crawwell. From what I understand, it's going to give us folders of the characters in the games, like the dossiers. Um, so, but let's go through. The second set is uh, second code is G Y G X S H. And uh, it spells out that. Okay. And the third code is E or C E O D -E L. And you can see the the green the lights are turning green for everyone we get correct. Uh, the fourth one is I B H Q B. -E. Again. Spells out this guy, red, or I don't really know what that means. <laughs> and the last code is Q K E Q W. And there, we have all the lights green. And now it should take us to this. There should be five folders. The dossiers. So Crowley Edgar, rank major special operation executive. Yeah. British, that's pretty awesome. And you can open it up and look through some of the stuff. Look at there's some gun blueprints, okay. And uh, the second one is mm, oh Zussman, okay. Cool. And let's open it up. Nice. Some more gun blueprints. The A1, M1, M1, A1 carbine. That's cool. 30 caliber. Then we got this guy. I don't know how to pronounce that. Or is that a girl? She's French. The French resistance. Okay, cool. Paper, yeah. But yeah, this is pretty sweet. Um, also, at the end of this, we are going to be able to enter in our we'll sign up and we'll get something once the game launches so it's kinda cool you get something free I have no idea what it is but it will be cool who knows maybe there's a limited number so you might want to get on this and get right away to claim your prize back to this folder first in first to win well done soldier now claim your calling card okay cool so now we click on this okay so now it's gonna ask us to sign in uh, I've already signed in, so once you sign in, it's going to say congrats, you'll receive an in-game calling card once you play the game after release in November. Um, I don't think anybody knows what the calling card is, uh, but it should be cool to find out, and it's free, so you might as well do this. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you find this video interesting. Uh, I'm really looking forward to playing this game. I'm going to be playing in the beta, and it should be fun. So thanks for watching again. Catch you later.